This is Mary and Tia. Um, they're just pups. Um, we're just starting them off galloping them. It's great say, for the pups starting off, just to get them used to going up. Um, and we try to kind of have it all here, just everything's fun. So a lot of people think that they're forced to run and all this, but you can see yourself. They're not, they just love us. They absolutely love us. So we have pups, so starting off maybe from three months old up to start when they start to race. Um, so we get them, just rear them up and get them walking on leads, get them used to the walker, start galloping them, take them to the track and um, then basically when they're ready to race they go. And then we have our own race dogs, three at the moment. So we have Walker, Cha, um, Paddy and Sally. And then we have at the minute then we have, I'd say, about 18, 19 retired dogs. Most of the dogs we get in, they come from big racing kennels. I mean, they could have 50, 60 dogs, 70 dogs, maybe some people, you know, in kennels. They can't possibly, you know, keep all them dogs, but they, they keep them, they get them neutered, get them prepared for a home, and then they come here or go to some other foster, foster place. And, um, you know, they, all that matters to them is to get their dogs in, looked after, and get them a really, really good home through the IRGT. I do, um, say, train a few, few greyhounds, um, but my main thing was always just to get the good side of the dogs across, just to try and promote them as pets and promote them after they live, yeah, after they finished racing, um, try and get them good homes and, you know, um, just basically showcase them as the wonderful pets they are. Well, my dad, was he was an inspector for the ISPCA, so I guess that's where my love of the welfare side of things came along. Um, and moved out here then in 1984. Then basically just kind of, um, like none of this was here. So just year by year, built on and built on and built on. Typical day, they get there, um, get out in the morning at seven o'clock to pee and clean, clean themselves, um, back in, they get their breakfast. Then after that, about eight, um, then they're back out again, about half nine, ten, for another walk. Um, they get out then again before lunchtime. Um, then their e evening walk then, about half two, three o'clock, they get out for about an hour, and then dinner time, they're out again at seven, and then out again before we go to bed about 10 o'clock at night. Busy yeah, very busy. <laughs> So this is, um, as we call it, the doggy, the doggy kitchen. All the, all the, dog, the dogs, the greyhounds, feeds are prepared in here, breakfasts, dinners. Um, so I'm just making their dinners now. They get um, some nuts, two slices of brown bread. They either get beef, chicken, some days they get tripe, um, soup. They get brown rice and vegetables and either spinach or kale. They eat better than ourselves, <laughs> to be honest. Like you see this morning, you guys were here and we hadn't even got our breakfast yet. But these guys had their breakfast this morning first thing, you know. So it's, it's just the love of it, the love of the dogs. You know, you'll do anything for them, so. I think there's, there's bad eggs in every, in every sport. Um, you can't say there isn't, there is. And, but to be honest, the majority of the Greyhound people, they do, they love their dogs. Like, um, you know, most people, they are. They're up in the mornings first thing. The dogs are looked after before they're looked after themselves. You know, they really are. Um, it's just hope what we live for, really. Um, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> Them small few are given all the rest of us the bad name, which isn't fair. Some people think that the dogs are forced to run. Um, that's just simply not true. The dogs love it. They're, as they say, they are born to run that's in their breeding, they love it. They absolutely love it. Like sheep dogs are born to, you know, herd cattle or sheep or whatever. They absolutely love it. Then they know well when they get their, their little meal at lunchtime that, oh yeah, we're going racing tonight. And they're barking, they're so excited. And all they want to do is come flying out and hop into the van and go racing. <laughs> so They're just, you know, you've seen today, they're just amazing pets. They really are, they're amazing dogs. 
they, they can transfer, say, from a racing greyhound into a retired greyhound, you know, in like really, really quickly. Um, they're just, they really are. They're just, just amazing.